firm. Let's keep a very, very close eye indeed on these chasing Ducatis. Just see what the cameras. The second split time, the second sector time will come up any moment now as we ride with De Vizioso. Number nine in his face is Danilo Petrucci. They come on to that international stretch. Second sector time any minute now. Yeah, Ross is already through, it's down to three and a half seconds, it was only, well, it was up to seven seconds, just a few laps to go. This is that battle between the two Ducati, Danilo Petrucci, still on course for a phenomenal career first pony, Danny Petrosa just off your screen there, trying to snatch four points back from Jorge Lorenzo Petrucci up the inside of the Vizioso, at the village corner, he makes it stick, he's got the inside line now into the loop, the Vizioso won't get a ride around the outside, he can't cut it back to the inside, great right, start from Petrucci's back, into second place. It's spot out riding by the former policeman, the Italian, Dre de Vincioso. Now get the full part of that GP15 as they race down towards Brooklyn. I think Petrucci is just going to save him from the extra partner. De Vincioso runs in a little bit wide. And Petrucci comes back at him. And Petrucci is back into second place. Look at the cheeks there from Danilo Petrucci's crew chief Daniele Ramagnoli. They can barely watch the screens. Here is their rider, the number nine, coming through the Woodco corner to complete lap number 14. Yes, he is in second place. Rossi is over the line. The lead over Petrucci, 3.1 seconds. Is it big enough? Is Rossi managing at the front? You've got to think he probably is. He's ridden an absolutely brilliant race so far. Valentino Rossi chasing his fourth Grand Prix victory of the season. He would take back that lead in the World Championship from Jorge Lorenzo, who is currently running in fourth place. But let's keep looking at those sector times. Ah, oh, the Ducatis going to give him a bit of a tough time. Yeah, Jorge Lorenzo has really got a second win. He knows that if he can get ahead of those two Ducatis, then it will be a great damage limitation exercise for the Spaniard. He'll only lose five points on Valentino Rossi if the Italian uh, takes the victory. Look at the rain, how hard the rain's falling down at that bottom end of the circuit. That's down to number seven, the Stone Corner. That's one of the Tech 3 Yamaha's Pius Fargo. Well, he had a runoff earlier in the race when he was fighting for a podium position. And unfortunately, he's crashed out at turn number three. That's in between Baggins and Baggins. Race over for Pius Fargo in that great fight he was having with his teammate Bradley Smith. Yeah, Bradley Smith seems so far to be running a very, very sensible race. Running in sixth place. It's a horrible looking crash. I think that's Bradley Smith coming under a fair amount of pressure. Scott Redding, yeah, that, that's Scott Redding, yeah. Scott Redding just set his personal best lap of the race on lap 14, 217, 951. That's six tenths of a second quicker than the race leader, Valentino Rossi. Race over for Paris Fargo, back with Rossi at the front of the British Grand Prix. Through that second split, he's got he's through that third split now. This is up to the Wellington straight. Let's give a close eye on Petrucci. It's within three seconds. Danilo Petrucci, 2.9 seconds back of Valentino Rossi. We said Stefan Bradley clashed that lead a while ago. He is up perfectly okay. Losing the front. Stefan Bradley going into Brooklyn, over the bumps into the Brooklyn corner, as you say. Perfectly okay. Former by the two winner here, Stefan Bradley that year. He went on to win the championship. What is the gap at the front? We're about to find out. Valentino Rossi splashing his way through Woodcut. It's not easy out there. There will be five laps to go. How close are the Ducati? Rossi back into the 2.17.9. Oh, yeah, Danilo Petrucci's taken another half a second outside of Rossi. This is not game over at the moment. There is Rossi on the left-hand side of your picture from the helicopter shot. There's the man in second place coming through the mist of the space. Danilo Petrucci's doing a great job in second place. There's Mark Marquez contemplating what might have been after another costly unforced error. Clashed out at the first corner while he was fighting Rossi for the lead. New gap is still pretty tight. Keep the close eye. Look at those conditions. They are horrendous. They race down the hangar straight. 200 miles an hour before they into Stoke Corner. Rain pouring down. Danilo Petrucci. We've always raced him. We've never, never seen him ride like this before. And he caused the biggest shock for many, many years. They're coming into rail, then to club, and an all-important second sector time will come up there. Yeah, the Petrucci and Vizioso, as you can see there, as they come through Vale, they've started to streak away from the Renzo and Pedrosa, back in the fourth and fifth. The gap between Vizioso in third 
and Lorenzo in fourth. It's 1.4 seconds. So Petrucci and Davizioso, it looks like a two-way fight for them at the moment to third. Petrucci trying to try and himself a bit to that fight to Rossi. He's picked up another tenth of a second in that third split. 2.375 seconds now, you can see at the bottom of your screen. Petrucci now through the village corner. We're on lap number 16. Look at the gap now. It's coming down through every sector of this Silverstone circuit. Third sector coming up for Rossi. Yeah, third sector they come through entry onto the Wellington site. This is going to be crucial. Danilo Petrucci leaves the Ducati charge against the former Ducati line, Valentino Rossi. Down to Brooklyn State Cup, Petrucci number nine, Vincenzo number four. Never been near a motor he did before, Danilo Petrucci. Inspired ride. We go back with Valentino Rossi. When he crosses the line, there will be four and a half of his racing career in front of him. Rossi through Woodcote to complete lap number 16, keeping on the gap. Rossi over the line now, Petrucci, 1.6 seconds. Danilo Petrucci taking big, big chunks of time out of Valentino Rossi. You can't watch in the front of the Catty Gary. You can barely look at the screens. They know their man has got a great chance. Not only taking his first Grand Prix podium, his first Grand Prix victory. Valentino Rossi pushing on as fast as he dares in these conditions. Petrucci, nothing to lose. Harder and harder. Andre de Vincenzo not acting all things well, but he'd be quite happy to sit in there, being dragged along by Petrucci. Always lost his hard work, not in the result in a Grand Prix victory. They're down now at Stowe Corner. Yeah, there's no difference in the tyre selections between the top three. They're all on the soft, wet front tyre, the soft rear tyre. Has Rossi burned up his toes a little bit too early? Is he just start keeping a little bit in reserve for his crucial final three and a half laps down to Vale on lap number 17? The gap is 1.4 seconds through the first split. We're about to cross through the split number two now through Club Corner. Rossi versus Petrucci versus Davizioso. What is the gap now as they cross through the second sector? Time and it's one point. Well, it's just about holding firm, isn't it? At the moment, Rossi obviously knows that they're coming. He's obviously been told by his pit bull. Is he playing a canny old game? Has he managed those ties just a little bit better than the Ducatis? But honestly, they've got nothing to lose. They are putting on so so hard. These conditions into the loop. Third sector time coming on. But when they do go across the line, there'll be three laps to go. Rossi through that first split now, it's back up to 1.6 seconds, so Rossi just about a couple of tenths in two, 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 three. Jorge Lorenzo looks like he's finally broken the result while Danny Pedrosa in fifth. Pedrosa on 0.5 seconds back of Jorge Lorenzo. Scott Redding is winning that British battle between Bradley Smith. Redding up to sixth place, that'll be by far a season best performance from the Estrella Galicia Mark VDS rider Valentino Rossi. About to finish lap number seven. Three to go for the Italian. He's got a slender lead over Dallo Petrucci. Cross the line he goes one and two to that familiar number 46. 1.6 seconds between Valentino Rossi, Danilo Petrucci and Andrea De Vizioso. Rossi is managing this better at the front now. He knows it coming. What a ride by Scott Reddy. Just announced he would be leaving the half BDS team. But he's joining the right team. He's joining Trump and Ducati. They're running second in this race. Well, great to see Scott Reddy back on a bit of football. Yeah, absolutely brilliant to see Reddy up there in sixth place. He's 1.9 seconds clear of Bradley Smith. Smith now himself coming under real pressure from Andrea Yanoni on the second of the battery. The cat is, you know, his teammate Andrea De Vincenzo locked in that battle for second with Danilo Petrucci. You know, he's been the top of the caddy rider in the last six races. Won't be happening today unless it's some real late drama at the front of this race. Rossi through the third, the first split, still the gap between him. Himself and Petrucci, 1.6 seconds, it's holding station, two and a half laps to go, what drama here at Silverstone. Then they go towards Stone Corner, splashing through the puddles, Smith just holding off on Dragon and they took the battles and they hit one, two, five, and both to dozen. Then they went back to Valentino Rossi, past the arc, that iconic building on the right, into the Abbey Curve, that is the gap from the helicopter. Media scrum, let's, uh, let's hear what he has to say.
So Petrucci now is one and a half seconds clear of his factory Ducati rival. As it stands at the moment, Danilo Petrucci will have a career best second place. Finishes by bucking and weaving under acceleration out of the stone corner can. The amount of late attack to take what would be an unbelievable first victory from Valentino Rossi. Petrucci and Rossi actually really good friends. They hang out together at the Rossi's to branch into Libya. He won't want to see his best mate coming past him to uh, take away one of the crucial points. So anyway, this is just a great victory for Valentino Rossi. He's beating Orlando Rango and he's opening up a little bit of a lead in the championship. It's absolutely crucial. So this is the battle for third. He'd love to get back past Andrea de Vizioso. No sign of Danny Petros. Petros is now 3.2 seconds back of this battle for the final podium place. Carol Abraham's crashed that rider of OK. Back with Martin Rossi in the lead through the third sector now. Through this fast entry corner onto the Wellington straight. It's up to 2.7 seconds. Rossi got the message. It's Rossi's to lose now. He stands on the brink of a fourth victory of the season. He's coming to finish his penultimate lap. This will be absolutely crucial in the final reckoning for this 2015 World Championship. There's Orlando desperately trying to find away by the bit so so crucial point to stay also for the Spaniard. One lap to go for surely the greatest motorcycle race that we've ever seen in the history of the Through the corner. We've seen Steve, we've seen Roberts race through that corner. We're now seeing Valentino Rossi race into cops. The master of the conditions, 36 years old, chasing his 10th world championship. This is a massive, massive moment for Valentino Rossi. Perhaps even more just as significant with Sue Andrea de Vincioso there, really putting gap of space between himself and her mate Lorenzo Rossi now coming through on this final lap. He was quickest in that wet warm-up session this morning. The rain this afternoon, just what the doctor ordered. He's on course to win the British Grand Prix. This will be massive for the world champion. You can see that Lorenzo is making no impression whatsoever on Andrea de Vincioso. It's going to be a 14-point swing in the world championship. A 10-point swing, sorry. And where do we go next? The home of Valentino Rossi at Mizzano on the Adriatic coast of Italy. Here is Domitioso in third place. He's got a glimpse of Lorenzo. They race down through Bale into the club order. Well, half a lap to go now for Valentino Rossi. There's been some important Grand Prix victories in his amazing career, but this must be very, very near the top. Along the international straight into the Abbey Curve. I'll correct myself, it will be 12 points and 4 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 points